All right, guys, on today's episode, welcome back. Welcome back, you guys. On today's episode, we're making miso glazed broiled salmon. Let's get cooking. I'm a private chef, cook for money, yeah. Okay guys, broiled salmon, this is one of the easiest ways to cook salmon, it only takes a few ingredients and it only takes 10 minutes tops. I'm gonna go Asian on this one, we're gonna do a simple miso glaze on top. I have two beautiful fillets of salmon right here. Portions for salmon, you should be eating six to eight ounces max of salmon. Anything over that, you're eating too much salmon. But we're gonna do for two people or if you're just alone, good meal prep, you make them both, you have them for the next day. I gotta wash my hands, I just touch salmon. Okay, aside from that, what you're gonna need, obviously, miso paste. Now what is miso paste? This is fermented soybeans, Japanese. It's incredible umami flavor. It's a little bit sweet. There are different variations of miso. This is your standard white miso. It's what you're gonna find most of the time. And you have your darker, your red misos, which are deeper in flavor. They're fermented longer. They have some other components in there, some seaweed, maybe some rice. Uh, all you have to know, standard white miso, that's what you need. You can find this anywhere, just in the, the Asian section or the international section, you'll find it. I, I live in New York City. I go to H Mart for all my Asian ingredients. I think there's a few in Manhattan. I shop at one on 9th Street. You can find anything there. H Mart is a great resource, a great spot in the city. Honestly, you could get by with making this with just miso paste and hot water. I'm gonna add a few other things, but the base of it is really just miso paste. And then I'm gonna throw in some soy sauce. I'm gonna throw in a little bit of chili oil. These are all optional, this is what I'm saying. So I have some mirin. Mirin is uh, another Japanese ingredient. It's like sake, similar to rice wine, but it's way sweeter and has much less alcohol content. I don't know how, I don't know if you could drink this and get drunk. You'd probably get sick and throw up because it's so sweet and pretty viscous, but hey, it might be a workaround there. If you need to get some booze, you can't buy it legally. Just drink mirin. What we're gonna do in the bowl is just combine everything, it's very easy. So I'm gonna go in with like a heap tablespoon of that miso paste and then soy sauce, let's go in with like I don't know, half a tablespoon of soy sauce, just a quick dash. Chili oil, this is gonna add just a little bit of kick. I need a new spoon. This is gonna be just a little bit of spice in there. And then sesame oil, sesame seed oil. This is so strong, so we only need, close that. This is so strong, so we just need a little, just that, just a dash. Just something there to go, oh, what's that? What's that? A little sesame oil, a little nuttiness, a little toasted flavor. Mirin for some sweetness. Again, you can use honey, you can use brown sugar if you don't have mirin. And then some twang, some rice wine vinegar, a few dashes of that, and that is it, my friends. Now to bring it all together, you can use hot water or you can use, I have some sake that I'm gonna use, so I'm gonna do a splash of sake in there. God damn it, don't make a mess. And then just stir, just combine into a paste. It helps if you have warm water or warm sake, it's gonna help dissolve that miso a little faster. But if not, no worries, you can do it all. Just by stirring it, it's gonna come down into a nice paste. And that's like a little thick, I want it a little thinner. The thicker it is, the more of a crust it's gonna build on the salmon and you're gonna really bite into it. So I'm gonna go a little thinner, so a little more sake or a little more water just to thin that out. Sake you can drink and you can get fucked up on it. Sake is a delicious drink. Shout out to the Sake Ninja. He's the one that supplies all my sake. And there you go, I like that consistency. So now we'll just go in and just rub this on the salmon. And we're gonna let this sit for like 10, you could cook it right away. I'm gonna let it sit for like 10 minutes though, just to kind of let those flavors soak in a little bit. That is looking good. Yes. All right, we're gonna pop this on the, under the broiler. 10 minutes is gonna be cooked all the way through. I like to go like eight minutes. I like my salmon a little opaque, a little underdone. That's how I eat mine. You can go anywhere from six to 10 minutes. Make sure that when you set your racks, you want it at least five inches below the broiler. If it's too close to the broiler, it's just gonna burn. You don't want that. You want a little bit of space. Five inches is good, so move your rack around. That goes in there. Okay, while that salmon finishes up, probably three minutes left on the cooking process, let's just make a quick salad to make it a complete meal. So right here I have a bowl just of arugula, very basic, and then I have a lemon here. This is super simple. This is a quick salad, just that nice cheek of lemon here is all we're gonna need. Lemon juice right on top, olive oil, extra virgin, good quality olive oil, a few drizzles of that, and then we'll just hit that with some salt. A little bit of pepper, give that a toss. My hands are clean, just mix it around. Look at that, beautiful salad. That'll go right next to it. Let's taste that, see how it's dressed. Mmm, delicious. All right, salmon's been going in about eight minutes. Look at that, absolutely beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Look, beautifully cooked on the inside, right there, and then you have that top, that miso that just broiled up, came off my finger. Oh my God, delicious. Let's pipe this up. Doing a little bit of juggling, a little bit of juggling. Turn the oven off, because it's hot as fuck in here. And now I, just, I have some spring onions here, I'm just gonna use as a quick garnish. You don't need this. I have them lying around, so why not use them? God, this kitchen's small! What am I doing, what am I doing? Our salad, look at that, just light fingers, pile that up, take one of our fillets. And see how the skin, it comes right off the skin, you go underneath, lay that down, right on top of that salad. Oh my God, you guys, looking good. Now, I have some sesame seeds, why not just throw a little sesame seed on top? 
Not even open. Not even. It's not even open, ladies and gentlemen. The seeds, the seeds, the seeds, the seeds. Oh, I'm spilling seeds now. God damn it. Uh oh, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Seed action from a height. That, my friends, is a beautifully broiled miso salmon with a quick salad to go along with it. Let's do a little bit of lemon juice just on top, just to kiss it, just to give it something to write home about. Oh, and our scallions, maybe a few scallions on top. Why not? Oh man, that's humming. That is humming and looking good. Just look at this, look how it flakes with the fork. Just look at that. Oh my gosh, beautiful. Beautifully cooked, just falls apart. It's going for a bite. Mm-hmm, yep. Yeah, that's gonna do. That's gonna work for me. You get a little bit of spice, a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of saltiness, umami from that miso paste, and the fresh salad just ties it all together. It's so easy to do. It's 10 minutes total, two minutes to whip everything up, eight minutes in the oven, and you're left with this, a perfectly balanced meal. You got good protein, good omega-3s, good vitamins. There's tons of vitamin K and miso paste. I don't know what vitamin K does exactly. B12 is in there too. Just good to have vitamins, good to have a mix of everything. Guys, that's gonna do it for this episode. I will see you next time. I'm Chef Donnie. Peace.